Greetings grasshoppers. For today's show and tell, I have a new camera from Runcam. This is the Runcam Phoenix 2. It's not the Oscar version, which came out about six months ago. It's a new version, uh, which will be available on the 29th of January, 2020. It's a micro-sized CMOS camera sells for about 27 US or $40 Australian, which is a fair bit cheaper than the Oscar version. 4-3 aspect ratio, switchable to 16.9 NTSC or PAL. It has a half inch sensor, uh, an F2 M12 lens. And in the marketing, they say it has less of that digital shimmer that the Eagle has and better low light handling than the Eagle and the Oscar. They say the lens has less of that red sun flare and less of the purple fringing as well. Uh, same latency as the Eagle. Let's have a closer look at the specs. Uh, half inch comms CMOS sensor. That's a typo run cam. Uh, 1000 TV lines, 2.1 mil lens, minimum illumination 0 0.001 lux, uh, global wide dynamic range. I'm always interested to see how they handle the wide dynamic range because the Eagle did that really well and some of the other uh, cameras with wide dynamic range sort of don't do as good a job. So it'd be interesting to see how this one handles it. It doesn't have on-screen display voltage sensing. It doesn't have UART control. Input power, uh, five to 36 volts. That's a good range. So it's kind of a simplified and cheaper version, which isn't a bad thing really, because you don't need UART control a lot of the time and you don't need voltage on screen if you're using a flight control board. Let's have a closer look. Get the little information card. You can download the manual there. Here's the little camera. Lens cover, M12 lens. Nice looking little unit. Input voltage, ground video, nothing ground and menu. It doesn't come with a keyboard changer, so we need to use one that we already have. So there's an ABS mount, some screws and the little cable, which you need to terminate yourself. So with the plug in there, you can see we have uh, voltage, ground and video, and then nothing for that uh, blue wire, which on other cameras that would be the voltage sensing, uh, ground and menu. So quick soldering job, I had to find a little uh, lead there so I could plug in the setup uh, keypad. I just put a little servo lead on for my setups. Just screw it into the mount for the moment. And we'll plug it in and see what we see. So this is my usual setup, little video transmitter there. It's kind of a Y lead that passes the video uh, from the camera to the video transmitter and power from um, the balance port of a battery powers both of them. All right, so plug my LiPo in. Image pops up. I have the menu selector plugged in there. Push the center button and we've got the menu stuff. I'll go in closer. Okay, I'll just put the lens cover on. Push the center button. And there we have the options, auto exposure, uh, change the brightness, exposure mode, global, whatever, advanced. Uh, don't need to mess with them at all. White balance, auto, manual, auto. Good out. Day night handling, image enhance. We've got adjustment of contrast, sharpness, color gain, noise reduction, video setting. Uh, so, yep, I want PAL, so I've changed it to PAL. And I want 16.9, so change to 16.9. Can invert, do all that sort of stuff. Dynamic, wide dynamic range, on or off. Return, language, reset, save and exit. Let's have a look without the lens cap on now. 
So let's turn the wide dynamic range on and off. That's interesting. Look at that. Fantastic. That works nicely. So there we go. That's very nice. It's a, a simplified little camera, I guess, as long as you realise that you don't have on-screen display of the voltage. Uh, you have to solder on your own plug for the uh, setup keypad and you have to terminate the uh, wires with your own plug or solder them straight onto your flight control board or whatever you want to do. But uh, that's absolutely fine with me. Alright, let's put it on a plane and see how it looks in the air. Unfortunately we might have to wait a few days before we go for a fly. Uh, we had a deluge overnight and the flying field is flooded and we've got wild winds at the moment. You can probably hear it in the background. So I'll upload this video and uh, we'll take it for a fly as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.